Hey yo, I just wanted to make a real quick video about this. At least I hope it's quick. At the time of this recording, this video should have came out like yesterday, but yesterday I was just like mad busy and it was just a whole process. We don't care. Let me tell <laughs> Yeah, so Halo Infinite just dropped like a brand new event, the Entrenched event. And I don't know how to feel about it, honestly, because it's like, I'm happy that we got a new event. But at the same time, I'm a little disappointed. And let me tell you why, Joe. Firstly, the brand new game mode, which is called Entrenched. If you couldn't tell, it's the gameplay in the background. But um, I don't hate it by any means. I don't. But I mean, it's basically just capture the zone, but when you capture it, the zones are permanent and you got to capture like 11 zones. So it's like, I don't hate it. It's actually quite fun. But at the same time, I just don't see myself playing it in like in the long run, you know. But one thing I can say is that I'm glad that the challenges to earn stuff in the battle pass and the event pass, which I'll show later. But the like actual challenges themselves are very easy because most of them are like capture the zone capture three zones or like earn 5,000 player score which isn't hard because you get obviously points for killing spartans and like just capturing zones like i feel like getting points in this game mode is not that hard and i'm just really happy that they made the challenges way more easier unlike the last spartan standing challenges because it was like those ones that you'd get challenges like oh smack five spartans from behind the back but it would be really hard because most people would either have invisibility or overshield. Like the spawn in rates for those were like hecka high. So I'm just glad that the challenges for this game mode are just way more simpler. I appreciate that. So the event pass, it's like me personally, personally, I don't know if I mentioned it, but personally, shut the fuck up, bitch. I'm not feeling this event pass. Like I don't think it's bad or anything. It's just that, I don't know, it's like the whole mining look with the armor core, just, I don't know. Like, I'll probably change my mind once I see, like, the full armor set together, but, like, right now, I just, I don't know. Like, I don't think this core is trash or anything, it's just that I don't see myself using it that often, you know? Like, I much prefer the samurai set than uh, this set, and I don't even use that one that much. Now, I'm still gonna grind for it, of course, because it's free, but, yeah, um, I'm just happy that, you know, we finally get to see this armor core in action though. Like we actually can obtain this armor core now. So I might as well talk about the store while I'm at it. But like this legacy of war effect, like I just don't see myself buying it. Like I can't even tell what that is. It just looks like black smoke or something. Like I just don't feel like it's worth it. Now the Sky Marshall set is extremely cool. Don't get it twisted, son. Like the paint job is premium and gorgeous and it's metallic everywhere. The only reason why I wouldn't get it is because realistically, you're only getting two things. You're getting a sick paint job and a sick helmet. But I mean, $10 like or $9, is it really worth it? Cause I mean, if you just save up for 300 more credits, you could just get a full armor set for like 1200 credits. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm not getting this armor set even though it's really cool. Or it could just because I'm a penny pitcher. Hey, it's my lucky day! A penny! Your luck just ran out! Hey man, he's back! You're crushing my arm! Unhand that penny or the arm comes off! And finally, the gold paint job in the store, it's like, I don't really care. Me personally, I don't really care too much about my weapon camos because all my weapons already have paint jobs that I got mostly for free. Except for the Hydra, but I mean, how often do I even use that gun? I don't even use that gun that much, so... It's like, I don't need the gold one, even though it's pretty cool, but like, again, I just don't need it. So yeah, that's pretty much all the stuff that was in the new Atrench event. Um, not a lot, but you know, we'll take anything because this game doesn't really, this game doesn't really update that much. So it's like, we'll probably settle for now, but like, you know, I still want the, like, I still want the stuff that Halo has been known for, like the co-op campaign and Forge, but I mean, for now, we'll, this will do. And so overall... I don't want to be that guy, but season two so far has just been mid at best. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it. So you should like sub up and help a young man out. I haven't said that in a very long time. So now you kind of have to do it. So with that being said, I'm going to dip out.